Hi, my name is Dan Cook from Vitamix Corporation. Uh, I'm here today to show you a little bit and talk to you a little bit about the Vitamix product, our company, and we're also going to do some demos to give you a pretty good idea of all the versatility the Vitamix can do for you uh, at home. Um, one of the things I wanted to point out to you today is what you get with the Vitamix product. When you purchase a Vitamix product through Kitchen Collection, you get a cookbook called Create. The Create Cookbook comes with the Vitamix machine. It has over 320 recipes broken down by chapters to make it easy for you to use. Beverages, hot soups, purees, uh, breakfast recipes. It even has a special section from professional chefs, all within this cookbook. It also has an easel background so it stands up easily on your kitchen counter. In addition to the cookbook, we get the DVD that comes with it done by Michael Simon walks you through some easy techniques using the Vitamix. Some of actually his favorite recipes are included on this DVD. This is the Vitamix Professional Series 200 model and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the functionality of this machine and all the wonderful things the Vitamix can do for you. But to get started, let's talk about the functions of how you operate the machine. We have an on-off switch which is located on this side of the, the machine. We also have a variable speed control and a high speed control. Some of the recipes are going to be run using uh, the variable speed control and others will be run in the high speed. So you have some variable variability. When you have the machine set in the variable, you would use the dial to speed and slow the blades up and down gradually. So that gives you an idea of using the variable. Many of the recipes are going to tell you to start it in variable speed one, which is where the dial is positioned now and ask you to roll it slowly all the way up to 10, then turn the machine to high. It will also give you an indication in our cookbook of how long you would want to run the machine. So that's pretty much the functionality of the Vitamix Professional Series 200. The Vitamix Professional Series 200 model also comes with an oversized 64 ounce capacity container, which is BPA free, used in the same type of material used in professional restaurants as well. If you would want to chop something, let's say carrots or onions, you can take the lid off with the machine running in a low speed and add your ingredients while the blades are moving. So a nice little handy feature. It also has a dual feature. It's a measuring cup as well. So that's part of the Vitamix lid. The lid also has an easy on and off feature so you can take the lid off and on very easily and it snaps right on as well. And an ergonomic candle which has a soft grip to it, making it comfortable to use. We also use full metal-to-metal -metal blade construction, so there's no plastic parts or vinyl parts that wear out, and that's metal to the container and to the base, so it easily slides into the base. The stainless steel blades are a one-piece blade assembly, fully stainless steel, will not chip or crack as well. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of the container that comes with the Professional Series 200. The Vitamix machine also comes with an extremely powerful motor. The motor working in concert with the blades along with the container is designed to break foods down to the cellular level. That releases all the taste that you might be grinding in your fruits and vegetables, but also all the nutrition found in your fruits and vegetables so your body can absorb all the nutrition value out of that. Now we're going to show you how quick and easy it is to make a smoothie, a sorbet, and a hot soup in the Vitamix product. Right now we're going to make a triple berry smoothie, which is located in the Create Cookbook, and show you how quick and easy it is to make a smoothie in less than five minutes, including cleanup. Hi, I'm Becky, and I'm from Vitamix in Cleveland, Ohio. Today I'm going to make a few recipes for you and the first one is the triple berry smoothie. This is the professional series 200 and I'm just going to show you how to in add the ingredients in the right order. The first ingredient is a half a cup of water. Next you add one quarter cup of yogurt. After that, you add a half a cup of strawberries, a half a cup of blueberries, and a half a cup of raspberries.
Next, you just put the lid back on and make sure it locks into place. And then you'll turn the machine on. Increase it slowly from variable speed 1 through 10. And then put it into high. the orange sorbet. In this recipe you'll utilize our tamper tool and what this does is it helps um, if there are any air pockets it helps push the food into the blades. So the point of the tamper tool like I said is to push food into the blades and the nice thing about the design is that it will stop about just above the blades so that you won't damage the tamper if it's used through the hole in the lid. This recipe calls for two whole oranges halved two tablespoons of sugar, and four cups of ice. So first you'll add in the oranges, and then the two tablespoons of sugar, and then the four cups of ice. As you can see, the oranges have a lot of the rind left on them, and that's because that's where a lot of the nutrients are stored, so you're able to get extra vitamins with this recipe, even though it's for a dessert. Now that all of the ingredients have been added, we can start running the recipe. The first step, as always, is to turn the machine on and slowly increase the variable speed from 1 to 10, and then you'll switch it into high. Since we're making an ice cream and we don't want it to heat up with the friction of the blades, it won't be run as long, and that's why we're going to help the process along using the tamper. One of the soups that we love at Vitamix is our broccoli cheddar soup, and we're going to show you in five minutes how to get a steaming hot, tasty soup made in a Vitamix. The base for the soup is going to be milk instead of water, so we'll add it a cup of water at the beginning. After that, we'll add a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and then a cup and a half of broccoli. We'll also add a chicken stock bouillon cube and a teaspoon of onion to add some extra flavor. The nice thing about the container is you can use the markings on the jar to measure where the liquids are going. And then you'll just add everything else in the order that I listed in the beginning. Once your machine is loaded properly, you'll start it off on variable speed 1 and slowly increase it to 10 and then let it run on high for about 5 to 6 minutes depending on how So you're able to see the steam come off when you lift off the lid.